Well, uh, the BJP people have delivered their verdict, and that is the most important thing in elections. In three states, the in Madhya Pradesh, in Rajasthan, and in Chhattisgarh, the BJP has won the elections. In the state of Telangana, the Congress has won the elections, wresting the state from the BRS, the Bharat Rashtriya uh, uh, Samiti. So, given this verdict. It is clear that with this verdict, the secular democratic forces in our country will have to redouble their efforts in order to safeguard the interests of people and improve people's livelihoods, and at the same time to safeguard the secular democratic character of the Indian Republic. This re redoubled efforts will have to be made by all the secular democratic parties and forces. You see, in this result, the people talking about the north and south, Thikar and Kilia, how do you see it? Well, in statistical terms, in terms of the results, I mean, there is definitely a north-south divide that appears. In the south, for instance, there is no BJP government, and the influence of the BJP is also not in any decisive terms in, all, in the politics of all these states in, the, in southern India. But to divide India into two parts like this, I think would not be correct. I mean, India as a whole and the Indian people as a whole will have to rise together in the defense of safeguarding the secular democratic foundations and character of our republic and working together to improve the welfare of our people, which is under severe, severe impact today with the highest levels of unemployment, uncontrollable rise in prices, with growing levels of hunger and poverty. Now, these are immediate pressing issues for people's day-to-day -day life that will have to be addressed, for which the secular democratic forces will have to redouble their efforts. And that is the important lesson that we can draw from it today. A detailed analysis will come subsequently when the full results are up.